Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. There we go. Hi, how are you, everybody? It's Alex Bennett. It is the Ramble, and we're here until uh, oh, midnight Eastern uh, Standard Time. We're in Standard Time right now. So anyway, uh, we've got uh, a, a guest tonight, and I think we probably should get right to him. What do you say, gang? This is the second time we've tried this, and, and the first time we had a cat involved. Yeah. Sorry, we lost the cat. Yeah, but now we got you in sync, and that's but good. But I'm in sync. You're in sync. That's a good thing. I think that is important. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Will Durst, and his cat was Eloise. Eloise was here, but she no, she's not going to make the cut. Now, I'm what sorry. are the names of your other cats? Just Madeline. Eloise and Madeline. Okay, named after basically heroines of books. Yes, uh, children's books. Very good. Yeah. Anyway, how are you doing, Will? Uh, shitty, life sucks, the world hates me, I'm living in a cartoon, my car is messed up, but it's 13 years old, and I think, uh, going on 14, so I, I think I gotta get, yeah, yeah, it's about time. Is, aren't you, are you the, you, you're kind of the Larry Bubbles Brown of cars. No, I think he's still got his Fiero. <laughs> oh, really? Fier yeah. A Fiero? I think, I think, didn't he have a Fiero? I think he had a Fiero, yeah. Yeah, with a Dukakis bumper sticker on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, you don't even have a car. No, I haven't had a car in so long now, I wonder if I know how to drive anymore. Oh, you don't even rent? I, I, I've car? rented, but not recently. Uh, we used to go up to um, um, uh, Vermont, okay, once a year. Uh and uh, I would rent a car yeah. and drive, but then as years have gone on, we start we, we're flying now. You know, uh -huh. it's a little more. It, well, it's it's not. I'd like to say it's um, less exp It's more expensive flying, but it really isn't. Here's the reason why: if you go into Hertz and you rent a car, yeah, and yeah. you say I want it for three days, yeah, yeah. okay, uh, it's going to cost you about. Uh, Oh, I think it was what was the price that I How saw on it? Day? Something like something like five hundred dollars for three days. Maybe maybe six hundred dollars. Yeah, for three for days. Three days. Yeah, but if I rent it for a week, it's only three hundred and twenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I've got to rent it for a week. So now we got to figure out a. So we take the we fly. <laughs> what the hell? It's cheaper. Than renting a car for three and, days. And do you stay at a at a hotel? Or no, no. We have we have some house? friends who have a very nice house there on the on on the lake on Lake I think Champlain it is. Yeah, and yeah. it's really right there nice. In Burlington. It's yeah. very nice. Burlington. Yeah, it's well, yeah, uh, near Burlington. So you fly into Burlington. Fly into Burlington. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So anyway, so I that so the last time I drove was about three years ago, maybe. And I just don't know if I know how to drive any longer. I, I you know, it, the idea of getting behind the wheel of a car feels strange to me now. Well, I know, once you get out of New York, yeah, uh, driving is fairly easy. But you probably know your way around New York. You know the freeways. Yeah, uh, I've never been more discombobulated as trying to drive uh, into New York to where was I going? JFK, I think from from Woodstock. I was in Woodstock yeah. and I had to uh, drive my car uh, to uh, JFK and uh, the freeway signage was not very good. So I got very confused. I think I paid the same toll three times. Yeah, well, that 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 could very well be. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, no, but I just... I don't know. I mean, I, when I lived in California, I had a car, and uh, it, it was like I drove ever since I was like 16 years old when you could kind of get a, 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 what do you call a learner's permit. 
And I, I drove everywhere. I mean, I just, you know, I got out of the car and, and then I got back into the car. And if I had to go up to the, uh, uh, the pharmacy, it was three blocks away, you got in the car, right? You know, so I mean, I drove everywhere and I can't imagine that I don't know how to drive anymore, but I'm afraid of it. No, you, you know how to drive. Yeah. You get in that. The thing is, the cars, uh, the technology is so different. I, my car died, and I had an up-to-date car in 19, no, in, in 2007, 2006. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm renting a car right now, and all the bells and whistles are incredible. Yeah. Yeah, in well, a good way. Yeah, well, yeah, but isn't it... In does, a creepy way, Doesn't too. it have a tendency, mind you... To, to kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, kind of throw you off because of all this new technology in the car, you know? I mean, all of a sudden you have this big screen in front of you that's sending you information, you know, and you're distracted by that. I mean. I don't, I don't have the uh, overhead uh, projection part. No, I just have <laughs> the little screen on the right. Yeah. No, they have in deck, uh, in the windshield, they have. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, yes. yeah, that they used to have in jets. They See, have that now. Is it, is it my imagination? Let's say I rented a car three years ago, and it had some new technology, but I knew, I could figure it out pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in three years, I think it's like immensely improved the technology, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, the audio technology. I, I, I still remember when we were, when we were under the thumb of the uh, radio guys you know where you had to listen what they listened to and then the cassette came in and then the cassette you could determine what you were listening to and now I mean, no, uh, wait a minute you could also then uh, then the cds came in and the eight tracks and yeah well, eight track eight, eight track cassette cds and the, and then uh and then it was uh uh the streaming and uh, the satellite radio and and now you with with no effort whatsoever from your phone, you can send to the radio so you get all your podcasts, all your saved radio shows, or or all your playlists. You can send that to your car, and it will play it out, and yeah. you won't run out down your battery because there's a charger right there. <laughs> it's it's incredible. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I listened to Greg Proops the other day mm -hmm. uh, in a rental car off my phone because I have his podcast. So yeah. that's what that's what people are doing now. And I, I did not know this because I did not have a car that came even close. Wow, because I, uh, um, yeah, because what I, used, what I did uh, and have done is they always tried to rent me uh, a, uh, a GPS, right? You want a GPS with a car so you can take you where you want to go. And so I didn't, don't need that anymore. Oh. It's in my phone. Yeah. You know, it's part of uh, part of uh, I don't know iPhone the iPhone. I can't remember which app yeah. it is, but it's the map app, and yeah. you just say yeah. I'm Waze, going here Waze and, and uh, yeah. the Google Maps and Apple Maps. Yeah, and they're and so, all pretty good. And so what Apple. I do is I plug that into the car that I'm listening to the music on my music on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, then as I'm going, she'll interrupt the music and say, turn left here, turn right there, in 30 miles, you're gonna have an off-ramp, whatever. Yeah. So you don't need that, so what? that's why the rents on cars are so high, because they can't sell you all that other shit. Yeah, my joke is, it used to be only NASA had GPS units, and now I have two of them, one in my car and one in my pocket. Yeah, exactly, so you know, it, it uh, and I remember, I was one of the first people to get a GPS unit in my car. Do you remember? Do you remember oh, no, me when no. I had a GPS unit in the car? And I loved, what I loved about it was when somebody would say, oh, okay, so we live over the hill, blah, blah, blah. And I, I would say to them, uh, 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 no thanks, don't tell me, just give me your address. And, and they would say, well, why just my, our address? I, I've got a GPS, it'll take me there. And then I just put in the address and it would take me there. Uh, and I always loved to brag about that. I loved the GPS. I couldn't live without. And it was one of the it was one of the first ones. I think it cost like two thousand bucks to put it in the car. And now you don't even put one in the car if, if no. you don't have to buy one. You just use no. your iPhone. You need a holder for your phone. 
Yeah, he, but, exactly, exactly. So anyway, uh, what do you think about uh, things uh, political these days? Uh, anything? Uh, paying attention, I don't care. Huh? Except for the State of the Union. State of the Union was, uh, I thought he gave a pretty good speech. Yeah? Why? What was good about it? Tell me. Uh, it was rational. Uh, he wasn't, you know, eating fire, or uh, he wasn't. It wasn't blind revenge. It was, except what he said. Uh, no, <laughs> you you shouldn't have any partisan uh, investigations, or America will go to war. You know, except for that part. <laughs> and also, he he claimed he claimed responsibility for more women in the Congress than ever before, even though. Uh, out of 127 women in Congress, uh, 106 of them are Democrats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't even mention that. Yeah. Am I, would the Me Too people be mad at me if I said yes. that? Yes. Uh, stop right there. Yes. You know what I'm going to say? No, but it doesn't matter whenever you preface a statement with, uh, I don't mean to sound racist, but... No, I didn't say racist, the sexist. No, 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 no. You sexist. said the Me Too movement. Yeah, yeah. Me Too, what? sexist. So, yes, yes, they will be mad. What was it? I was going to say Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is hot. No, I don't think they'll, they'll be mad. Yeah, because every time they would take a picture of all the women in Congress, the new ones, yeah. she just lit up. She just, the, there was a, like an aura, there was a halo around her, you know? But what 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 about her her idea that uh, Israel shouldn't exist? No, that isn't that isn't Alexandria uh, yeah, yeah. Casio Cortez. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's the uh, no no no. Yeah, it's also Alexandria. Oh really? All, oh. all yeah. Well, she's a big fan of Palestine. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> so I don't care. Okay, no problem. Man. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Not but, Judea. Hmm? Not a big fan of Judea. I'm, I've never been a big fan of Israel. I, I think Israel is very warlike. I think that they never learned any lessons from being in concentration camps. You know, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just bothered by it, you know. So what do you think about these Democrats coming out at the same time? Did you see Amy Klobuchar? Well, in the snow? yeah, but you know. Uh, Great visual, though. Uh, what? Great visual with the snow. Oh, oh, really? Yes, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Minnesota. That was Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. Um, well, what do you think of some of these candidates? I mean, I think the Democrats haven't come up with anything interesting yet. You know what was interesting was last night, and I didn't get to see it because I had to go out to dinner with a, a friend from out of town, but uh, last night was the dueling... El Paso rally, yeah, yeah. with uh, Beto and Donald, and uh, that would have been interesting because well, Donald just made up these lies and said something about El Paso, and you know that was, you know, might have out of out of out of a story like this, he he might have picked like that part right there and this mm -hmm. part and put them together and made it that the whole story, and uh, so Beto, whose district. Uh, El Paso is who he was talking about. He held uh, an opposing rally, and I have no idea what happened. Yeah, I I saw that he had an opposing rally, and they didn't talk much about it. They mentioned it, which leads me to believe that he didn't get a big crowd. Ah, uh, which uh -huh. you know, but I don't know. I haven't. I I, yeah, yeah. I at this point, folks, I have to go look at the news and find out for sure. But. Yeah. When they're I not, paid, when they're I not saying, "Look at all, back. look at all these people that showed up for this thing," you know, you got your New York Times there, huh? Well, well, yeah, but it's it's intact. I haven't pulled the the paper apart yet. What do you pull out first? Uh, front page, New York Times. I read the front page, and then I read the editorial page. Yeah, because in the San Francisco Chronicle on the Sunday paper, everybody used to say it's like a grapefruit. You take the pink out first. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's driving me crazy you go into sync and then you go out of sync it's really uh -huh. th thank you very much uh, 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 Skype yeah um, 
But, uh, you know, so you felt that his State of the Union was cool or that he no, was no. better. No, no, I, I didn't say it was cool. I thought it was uh, rational. It yeah. It was rational. Yeah, there were a couple of uh, overstatements. There were, uh, he took credit for shit that he had nothing to do with and, and he made wildly optimistic predictions. But that's what the State of the Union is. That's what everybody does. Even Jimmy Carter did that. You know, so, uh, yeah, so that that was surprising. You know, there was no American carnage or, or any of that. But then he just lied throughout the entire thing. You know, but I, I just meant the tone was was much more civil than in past years. There's this show on Showtime called The, the Circus. Mm -hmm. And it deals with politics every week. And and this week they dealt with the State of the Union. And it opens up with an old grainy black and white of uh, of the uh, State of the Union with, I think, Truman. And then he's saying the State of the Union is good. you know. And then they go to uh, the next president, Eisenhower. The State of the Union is good. you know. And they go to the next president. The State of the Union is good wonderful or whatever and then they finally get to trump and he goes the state of the union is and then they go to shots of fighting arguing uh, kids in uh, in concentration camps uh, you know all these horrible things that have happened under trump and then they come back to him and he goes the state of the union is terrific <laughs> you know or whatever he said yeah um, yeah yeah they always say they always say that no matter what's going on, they always say the State of the Union is good. Well, they're president, so they're kind of responsible, so they have to they have to reflect that it's being good. Otherwise, well, people would say, "Well, what the hell are you doing about it?" You know, and why? Why? What do you mean it sucks? State of the Union sucks. Yeah. 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 yeah well, the the, yeah, but it, it, but it, you know, I mean, I just felt that. Uh, Oh, I, I mean, you're right. He kind of maintained his place as the good boy the other night. He he was the kid who was told by his parents now, you know, don't make noise at the dinner table. He know? used his indoor voice. He used yeah. his indoor voice. But most of it wasn't taken up with things that, you know, most presidents are, are always, uh, 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 What do you, who are you waving at? Yeah, say hello. Uh, uh, there she is. Hello. Uh, that's that's the funniest woman in America. There she is. According to Alex Bennett and Robin Williams. That, that's the lovely the lovely Deborah Durst. Hello. Hello, yes. Alex. Yes. And uh, how long have you two been married now? Uh, Thirty seven years. Six of the happiest years of my life. Don't you <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-seven years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember at the punchline when uh, John Hutchinson held the? It wasn't. It wasn't Hutch. It was. Uh, oh, Bob, uh, Bob. Bob Fisher. Bob Fisher H held a benefit for you. What, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, we to just send us off to Vegas. We were dirt poor, and uh, we decided to get married. So uh, we held, he held a benefit for us, and Stephen Pearl drew the poster and everybody performed for free and we got the money at the door and yeah. ran away to Vegas. Yeah. Wow. And that was 37 years ago? Yeah. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. Quit reminding me how old I've gotten. I know. Ah. It's weird being able to throw numbers like that around. Oh, jeez <laughs> almighty. You know, I mean, well, I guess I've known you that long. Yes, yes. Yeah, you have. Good grief. And you don't look a day over 20. Oh, yes. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. What? yeah. What? <laughs> well, I, I have to go to the bank now and yell at people. Uh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. okay. Is that well? That's yeah. what old people do. They go to the bank and yell at people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they give you some free tea and cookies. Just go away. <laughs> <laughs> love you. I love you too, Deborah. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Or Wait. or as she's known in the business, Debbie. Yeah. Debbie Durst. Yeah. Debbie Ann Piquel Durst. She's actually gotten more movie work than you, hasn't she? Yes. Yes. Yeah. She's. What, what are some of her credits? Uh, she was in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Voice. She was in Monkey Bone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, she was in Monkey Bone. What else? Beautiful Boy. Oh, she was in Beautiful Boy. Have you seen uh, the one with Steve Carell? Wait, yeah, I saw it, but where is she in there? She's just an extra on the street on Hate Street when he's looking for her. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I, I'll go looking for her. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, no, looking for his son. I'm sorry, looking yeah. for his son. No, but what she, I it, she was in another movie, and I can't remember. Yeah, getting back to what you know about his State of the Union. So he had he had his he had his indoor voice on, but uh, nevertheless, he spent most of it not saying what presidents normally do about. Here's what I'd like to accomplish in the next year. Here's what you know I think we should be yeah, yeah. the direction we should be going. There was none of that. It was just either listing his own accomplishments or pointing out people in the audience who were like Holocaust survivors and, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that poor kid, the cancer kid. Oh, man, she uh, being used as a prop by Trump, you know. Yeah. It's not bad enough to have cancer. And he, he didn't mention kids in the cages. He didn't mention a lot of shit. He, did, he didn't mention... Vladimir Putin. He didn't let uh, uh, Maria uh, Butina. He didn't mention a uh, uh, Paul Manafort or. Do you know who one Cole congressman and I can't remember who the congressman was brought to the State of the Union was a Guatemalan mother and her daughter who came into this country uh, and and uh, they were they went to the speech too. But he didn't point them out and say, "Here's some Guatemalan kids who came over the border seeking asylum." You know, no, it was Holocaust survivor, World War II vet, most of whom couldn't stand up. And the one who could stand up was saluting the president. You know, it was. Yeah. Uh, I find that part of it kind of pathetic. I, I, I feel like I'm watching a cheap version of the Ed Sullivan show. I know. And in our know. audience tonight, we have Shecky Shecky, you know. So uh, I don't like the idea of human props. Well, but uh, but they it, all use them, I know and they that. always use them at the State of the Union address. But at least with most State of the Union addresses, they don't talk about their accomplishments as much about where we're going and where they would like the country yeah. to go. And there was none of that from him. It was all about me, me, me. Here's what we've done. Employment, unemployment is the best it's ever been, which is a lie. Uh, you know, I mean, he a lot of lies in that speech. I think a lot that, of lies. And a lot of standing ovations, you know, uh, a lot of lines uh, where the Republicans would stand and the Democrats wouldn't. And, Did you uh, like Nancy's clapping in his face, though? With the, yeah, what was that? that uh, Patton Oswalt called it the fuck you clap. Oh, really? Was that it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, they're replaying that one a lot, you know. And uh, her relationship with Mike Pence, Mike Pence... And this is my line on stage, but Mike Pence is stiffer than Mitch McConnell wearing buttless chaps on a gay pride parade float. <laughs> Mike Pence was just, just, and oh man. Pence is like a toady, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's he's like a, a toady wrapped up in a in a in a Bible. And he's always like two steps behind the president. Everywhere. In everything. He's always in the shot. Never interrupts. No, he's, yeah, he's he's the scheming toady. Yeah, he's like he's like uh, Iago. You know. Do you think there's part of him that wishes Trump would die and he could become president, uh, or that he would know, get? You know, what would be ironic is if Trump got uh, taken down by the whole Stormy Daniels uh, thing, because then Mike Pence would become president because of a porn star. And the irony would melt him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, son of a bitch. So what do you got coming up? Me? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Death, I think. And yeah? yeah? Soon? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, soon. Uh, not soon. Not soon, uh, hopefully. Yeah, but, yeah. but but that's, you know, Dip I mean, I always had something to look forward to. Hey, on Friday we're going to the movies, or on Saturday we're going to L.A. or something like that, you know. Yeah. And I was you always out LA? doing something, and now the only thing I have to look forward to is death. Well, see, that's why you, you set up uh, appointments that you go to the movies. Or you Have you seen any plays? Uh, we went and saw, uh, what was it? We saw something a couple of weeks ago. Uh, e e e Evan uh, Hansen. Oh, dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen. Hansen. Yeah, it was it was yeah, it was okay. good. Not my kind of show exactly, but I liked it. You it know, was, it was okay. Yeah, but it you're you're was, the guy. You're the guy. Kids. You, you're the guy kids. who got the obstructed view seat of network. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you? No. Did you see Network? No, no, no. It's too expensive. You can't get it, and you can't get a ticket get, for it. Get the obstructed seat. I'm telling you. Call, really? Call up the box office. Well, what, 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 I, I can't remember. What was obstructing your view exactly? The stage. The stage. I was in the front row. The stage was right here. Really? Yeah. Some and so them. everybody was up there. So oh, okay. Your neck. That wow. was it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, for eighty nine bucks. How much? Eighty nine bucks. As opposed to four hundred and eighty nine, three rows over and three seats in. Yeah. So what's the weather like in San Francisco? Let's see out the window there. Let me let me just see. This is a daytime. Oh, oh, that's that's, that's a nice view. It's kind of uh, overcast, right? Yeah, it's about fifty three. It's yeah. gonna rain. Yeah. It rained, uh, rained and rained and rained, and tomorrow it's gonna rain again. And then Friday I go to Mendocino mm -hmm. for the Mendocino Film Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the real festival; it's kind of a uh, an adjunct. And then next week I go to Reno, and uh, next week I'm doing 142 Throckmorton, which is a great little theater that they've resuscitated in Mill Valley and so yeah just just working and uh yeah see see so you have something to look forward to yeah yeah so I will live vicariously through your future all right uh yeah I'll, <laughs> so, try, to, I'll try to post more more shit on Ant's Instagram <laughs> ladies and gentlemen there he is uh our old friend and comic supreme it's always fun Will Durst bye-bye Will Thank you, buddy. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome back. Uh, that's great. I love Will Durst. You love Will Durst too. Get a lot of people watching whenever Will is on, so we were happy with that. Let me clear a few things here. I always am working on my desktop on one thing or another. Anyway, let me see here. Let me go get our um, our Skype lines open here so that people can call. As you know, we have uh, what we call a citizens panel, and uh, people get together and they argue with each other and talk about the subjects of the day and subjects that bother them and don't bother them and they like and don't like and whatever. So anyway, please, everybody... Time to call. If you don't know how to call this program, a uh, good, uh, good uh, easy way to remember how to do it is by uh, uh, just uh, um, uh, going over to gabnet.net. And over there, you'll still see the program. The video is running right now uh, of the program. And uh, what happens is we want you to give us a, uh, um, a, you know, a ringy ding 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 on Skype. Uh, it'll tell you how to use Skype, it'll tell you how to get Skype, how to install Skype, how to get pissed off at Skype, how to uh, hate Skype, how to dislike it intensely, but you have to use it because that's the only thing we've got for doing what we call the citizen panels. Uh, they've got us by the balls. I think that's the best way to put it, okay? So anyway, uh, I'm waiting for the first people to call. By the way, I'm not going to be here Friday night. Uh, it's going to be a, an Alex Free Friday uh, Jack uh, Bishop has said he would uh, do my slot along with his own, so he'll be doing pulling down three hours on uh, on Friday night, and I thank him for that. Uh, but I'm taking the night off because uh, I have an unusual kind of engagement uh, coming. What happens is I have a business manager. I've had him for years. His name is Gary Haber. Great guy. Uh, you know, been been in my corner for as long as I can remember. I mean, years and years and years and years and years. And uh, he called us up and he said, uh, hey, I got an idea. I'd like to uh, come over to your place. Uh, we're coming to New York and I would like to come over to your place and invite people to come over to your place as well. And uh, we'd like to have like uh, um, dinner at your place. The only difference is you don't have to make it. We're going to cook it. So they're coming over on Friday to cook dinner for us, and uh, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, uh, deal actually. So uh, I, it's, it's going to be a dinner party and stuff, and I didn't know how late it was going to go, and I didn't want it to interrupt my my festivities with them. 
Uh, I decided to take the night off. I think it's about time I took a night off, don't you guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. You know, instead of having the people cook, why don't you just do what most people your age do? What's that? Call Meals on Wheels. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> right, right. Um, by the way, you can turn up your mic a little bit, Phil. Oh, really? Yeah, you can turn All it up right. just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. A little All more. right, uh, how's that? There we go. Okay, because I'm using a new board now. And oh. I, I'm glad you guys can hear me, you know. Uh, what would you say? And I'm glad it's working. Yeah, and Phil, now I could I could annoy you by going, hi, how are you? Oh, you got a reverb. Yeah, I've got reverb. Right. I've got all kinds of reverb. I've got that reverb. I got this reverb. I got this reverb. Where, where's where's the one? Oh, that that's that's kind of a nice one. Uh, here's another. Here here's another, here's another one. one. Yeah, that's yeah. That yeah. One. yeah. But anyway, you will. That's the last time, folks. You'll ever hear me use it. I have no need for it, except maybe if I'm if I'm doing a, a spot or something. Maybe I want to put a little reverb on myself. Hey, guess who's calling us? I can't believe this. Ladies and gentlemen, it says Radio Albert, so it must be, must be. Albert Albert. Reynoso. How Al- do you like that? This thing still works. Yeah, but your 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 logo is backwards. My logo is backwards. Yeah. Well, I have to I have to figure out why that is. You can't you can't show us video of you? Uh, hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, there you just got the Radio oh, Albert. Just got the Radio Albert. Turned around. Okay. There's a little bit of uh, slapback from you. Oh, there we yeah, go. Nothing ever works right. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Look at me. What? How are you guys? Oh, we're fine. And yourself? Uh, I guess I'm okay. I, Skype has changed quite a bit since I've left. Yeah. It was, uh, yes. it was about uh, five months ago, something like that. Yeah. It sucks it's now. Better. It sucks. Yeah. yeah However, sucks. I'm not using the new Skype. I'm using the old Skype, which they don't want you to do, and they prevent you from doing. But there's one version that goes back to like 19, uh, 2017 that they somehow haven't been able to stop from working. So, so the one I'm using doesn't work. Is that what? No, you're the one you're using is the new fucked up version of Skype. Oh, what are the other guys using? The new fuck I'm using up. the fucked up Skype. Using, You're using, I'm using a new up. one too, but I don't like it. Yeah. Let's see. What, what, are you still are you still doing baseball uh, coaching? Yeah, well, I'm not really umpiring anymore. I'm on the board now. Uh, I'm I'm training umpires. Oh, good for you. How's your health, Charlie? It's okay now. I had a couple of rough years there, but. <laughs> All right. You look. You both look good. You both look very good. Yeah. Look. Phil's still a troublemaker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Since you just came on, uh, Albert, uh, we've gained a lot of people watching us. See, see how popular you are. Well, let me tell you something. I, I was uh, coming on to say hello to uh, Chaplin. Yeah, but he was not. What? Where is he today? I thought he's on Tuesday. Okay, here, he, Friday. He, he is normally. What happened was his mach- his equipment, his computer, completely blew up on him over the weekend. That- well, that explains why I'm not talking to him. So he has to, he has to, to rebuild his computer, and that's going to take a week. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Right. So I keep I keep because I checked in with you, and I checked in personally with you a, a couple of months ago. Yeah. But I but I said let me let me see what's going on with Damien. So the one day I check in with Damien, he's not there. He's not there. Great. Yeah, he's not there. That's so. good. Well, it was nice to hear Durst just now. Oh yeah. Before that, I was uh, pleased to hear um, a replay, uh, maybe of yesterday's show, a Friday show, where uh, it seems nothing has changed. You weren't feeling well, and you didn't know whether you can get through the show, yeah, and yeah. who's going to call. Yeah. So it's still the same old thing. It's the same we're old talking thing. About, you're talking about people who've been kicked off the show again. So everything, everything's still the same. People get kicked off the show. Yeah. I like your little, uh, little setup there. You're using, what are you using, OBS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been screwing around with this thing, you, just trying to yeah. put it together. I got a new uh, a desk, like a gaming station. So I figured I'm going to see what, what I can do with this yeah. and uh, uh, test it out and give you guys a call and see who's on there. Now, where is Rin? Where are all the, uh, where are all the other well, people? Well, Rin is uh, Damien's friend. Uh, she does, Rin does a Damien show, never calls mine. 
uh, which I don't, oh, so which I don't mind. You know, I, I like everybody to have their own people or, that are exclusive to them. You know. So when Damien took my slot, he took everything because Rin was always on my my yeah, thing. Yeah, too. yeah, he got it. He got it all. Inclu uh, yes, absolutely. The warehouse sale. Take it all. D yeah, take it all. Well, actually, it wasn't it, after it was your show. It was, uh, it was Rob's. Was it Rob's? Yeah, I think yeah. Rob was on for Oh, a that's while. right. Yes, and then, it was. And then did Revelstoke Jim do it after that, or did he do it before Rob started For a doing short it? period of time, he did it uh, after um, uh, after Albert. Okay, so then it was Revelstoke Jim for like oh. a half hour or something like that. And then yeah. he gave it up to Rob, and Rob did it. But Rob would really rather play music, so since we don't have music licensed here, it didn't work too well for him. And I thought he was really good at what he was doing, too. He was great. In fact, if you want to hear those or you want to hear old Albert shows, just go to our, uh, our Roku channel, and there's a whole channel of, of old uh, uh, shows by, by Albert and by Revelstoke Jim and by uh, and Rob's uh, show and, and whatever. Uh, have you have you um, put in the paperwork for the Museum of Podcasting yet, the so that we can get some some awards or lifetime recognition? You want to know what happened? Nothing? You want to know what happened? There's this you thing know. called uh, uh, a new new thing they've got called the Podcast Journal or something. I can't remember what it's called now, and it's a daily, you know, uh, blog sheet, whatever uh, about the inter about podcasting. Right. Uh -huh. All things podcasting. So somebody wrote when they started it up, wrote. And so podcasting started in 1993. I mean, excuse me, in uh, uh, 2003. Right. With so and so who did blah, blah, blah. And I wrote the guy and I said, bullshit. I was doing the first podcast back in uh -huh. back in uh, 2008. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 1998. OK. Uh, or 99, I can't remember which. And I said, we invented the whole concept of the, the, the you, uh, program is automatically downloaded to your computer. And I used to do a show every day. And, and you used to, and you, and you invented the phrase, get off my lawn. That too, but that's another story. <laughs> but the, the, the point is that I wrote him about this and I said, look, I can even send you a copy of the program. It was called Auto Alex in which, you know, I did the show. Then if you wanted it, you simply installed Auto Alex on your computer and it would go down once a day and see if there was a new show and download it to your, to your computer. Uh, and I said, so actually that was the first podcast. And the guy went, wrote me back and went, well, yeah, so. <laughs> well, yeah, well, and fuck you. I mean, you know, if you don't want to be educated and you don't want to give somebody their just desserts, you know, for having and come up with the And you were arguing concept. with this 14-year-old when? No, he wasn't, he wasn't a 14-year-old. He's some adult who's got no life, you know. Yeah, well, same thing. <laughs> like me, actually, now that like I think about it. Here. Yeah, like all of us. Yeah, like all of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Okay, here comes Vernon Nunn. Ooh, Vernon. Vernon, Vernon, Vernon. Hello, Vernon. Are you there? By the way, I'm not sticking around that long because I, you know, it's almost bedtime. Wait a minute. Are you, are you, are you implying that you have a life? Is that what, is that what you're implying? You don't want to hang around with a bunch of losers like us? No, I, I like to hang around on my own as a loser. Oh, I see. And, and have That's your own true. own group of losers. There's Vernon. No, nope, just me. There's no... By, by the way, you know how I said earlier listening. that each of us have our own... Kind of some people who are, are unique to us. I mean, for the most part, Phil only calls this show. He does call Jack mm -hmm. occasionally uh, when he feels I call like... call Damien occasionally, too. He calls Damien occasionally. But basically, you're kind of my caller. All right. Yeah. If they don't have any other callers, I don't want them to suffer. So, you know, I'll tune in for a few minutes. And if I hear that, uh, yeah, you yeah. know, they're. But basically, they're you're, my, you're my you're 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 my show's guy. OK. Yeah. Uh, as as is for the most part, Josh Wheeler here uh, or Vernon Nunn. All right. But uh, I mentioned that like Lit Rin is like Damien's caller. Mm. Right. You know, the exclusive to that show. And if uh, Jack had one who was exclusive to him in, in uh, uh, Mike Allen. And all of a sudden, Mike Allen has disappeared. Now, Vernon has been trying to track him down. Right, Vernon? 
Well, I've got some information, but Phil has done more than I have. Well, what I was going to say is you were trying, but you couldn't. You were trying phone numbers that didn't work. You were trying email addresses that didn't uh, go anywhere. He came up with a great idea, which was uh, uh, the fact that uh, Mike Allen was a ham radio operator, and so was Vernon. And Vernon uh, checked the ham radio database and found his address. And all I did was go on Spokio Okay, so then you, wait a minute, then you went on... I went on. I, w I went to a paid web search. This is becoming a detective drama here. Well, yeah, it's yeah. it's easier when I was using the police computer. But I, I went on to a paid web search and uh, I uh, did a reverse directory lookup on uh, the address to get some phone numbers. Uh, when the phone numbers didn't pan out, I, I did get an email address that didn't bounce. And uh, but when the phone numbers didn't pan out, I just called the Sacramento Police Department and I asked them to do a welfare check. Uh, nothing that I haven't done in the past for you know people, mm -hmm. and uh, they went by. They called me. They said no one was there. No one answered the door, and uh, so I told them to leave a note on the door. Yeah, but they also uh, said they talked. But the best part, interesting part, is they talked to the neighbors. Yeah, and you know, uh, Mike uh, must not have too good a relationship with his neighbors because they they said, well, you know, and, uh, he he went to the hospital, and that's all they knew. What hospital? They didn't know. They didn't care. You know, just you know, he went to the hospital, yeah. and uh, so now his cell phone. Yeah, but we is know. Off. Yeah, we know he's gone to the hospital. Right. We know that. All right. Yeah. Um, that, we don't know what hospital. We don't know what hospital or why or if he's still alive or not. So supposedly he lives with his mother, and uh, there were seven people that uh, seem, uh, according to the internet, that we're living in this uh, house, a two-bedroom house. So, uh, you know, I would be surprised if the other people weren't there and just not answering the door. But you know, if you've talked to Mike in the well, past, Well, I you saw realize, somebody wrote me, and I can't remember who, and I, and I was looking to see where was it. Was it a YouTube comment or whatever? Somebody found the phone number, called the number, asked for Mike Allen, and they hung up oh, on that it. Was, that was Ray. Uh, Ray yes. spoke with a sister-in-law that he found off of uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. and uh, the sister-in-law, I guess they, they didn't have a very good relationship and didn't really want to talk to him. So uh, I have a feeling that we're probably going to get a news report pretty soon that all the other bodies will be discovered in the house. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> no. I, uh, I, I'm... I'm I hate to say this, but I'm kind of going along with the idea that he's probably dead. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And he went to the hospital. Well, and if he isn't, he wants to be. So, you know. What do you think of this, Radio Albert? <laughs> he's I'm, I'm flummoxed here because I don't even know who the hell you're talking about. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you know, uh, this is remember, remember the other day. Remember the other day on the mentioning what the hell you're talking do, about do, in radio. Do you, I don't, do you remember? Right. The, okay, you remember the other day you listened to the show and I said some I uh, I banned this guy from the show. Some guy from the show. No, it was uh, Doug. Oh, oh, it was Doug. Oh, it was Doug. Oh, okay. Oh, and, oh, and, Doug and Mike. And Mike. Mike was the other one. Mike. Okay. And it was basically because I wanted any excuse not to have him on the show because his voice drove me crazy. He's Mike has so a many... gravelly voice, and he used to talk to everybody like this. <laughs> and then, uh, 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 you know. That's a good Mike Allen, but the guy smoked so many cigarettes <laughs> that you could smell it through your monitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we go from here is my question, because uh, I don't think the metrics are going to get any better than no. talk about this guy, Mike Allen. <laughs> <laughs> is this the way it usually is? Are you, are you saying that nothing, you, are you saying this <laughs> yeah. show has nothing important to say? No, I liked hearing uh, a Durst and his wife. That was nice. Yeah, but, it was double uh, Durst. Yeah, but uh, let's get something going here. Well, well, shit well, going on in the well come on, you're, you're my, you're my former Where's Marjorie? My, she's asleep. Are you kidding oh. me? She, hey, you got to take my well, word. You guys got ESPN. If you got ESPN, you're watching the Louisville Cardinals beat up on Duke by 20 points. Really? Oh, well, I don't have the TV on right now. See? Unfortunately. Yeah. So, oh, uh, oh, that's after that. After Alex uh, 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 paid a hitman to knock Marjorie down and break her knee, 
Uh, <laughs> Did she break her knee? Yes. Didn't I tell yeah. you? This? I, thought, I didn't when, know that. When I talked to I you, last she had knee problems. I didn't know no, she broke her. Knee. I talked to oh, you three months. I thought yeah. I, ta- I talked to you just about a month ago or a month and a half ago. It's, I, the uh, Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas oh, Eve. Oh, we well, she, this happened, I think, in November. November, yeah. Oh, I yeah. No, she broke she, it. What happened was she's walking down Fifth Avenue and some tourist who's looking up at the buildings or something bumps into her, knocks her to the ground, and she breaks her knee. The cat mm. even minds that. Yeah. She's been in a cast for, what is it, uh, 16 weeks now? Yeah. Yeah, well, the, 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 she's what? she's in a cast when she's out of the house, but she doesn't have to be in it when she's in the house. Uh, oh. She can she That's can walk nice. around without it and so on. But it's it's kind of like they still more want More of a brace, it. though, isn't it? It's more of a brace. Isn't it more of yeah. a brace? Yeah, but I don't yeah. know. Do they do casts anymore or, or braces the, the order of the day when you break a leg or do something like that? I guess it depends on the break. Yeah. You know, anyway, so, all they wanted to do was immobilize it. So she, uh, she really, it was, it was pretty bad. She was in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Please wish her a speedy recovery for, for Linda and myself. I'll tell her you don't care. She's, she's got to do Well, you can do what you want. So it's recorded here, so. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's for, you know, for the record. leg to stand on. Just well, she, like she's probably listening to this right now. Or Marjorie. She, she listens, listens to the show every day, <laughs> so, you know, just wish her your best, you know. By the way, Josh, good to, good to hear from you uh, again. Uh, it's the same thing. You, you chime in just when you have some critical information. Is that right? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. How okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. He, very good. It's good oh, when, to see you. When he contributes, he, it's very good. Yes, you know? I know. I yeah. know. I remember that. It's always good. He's the. Int- How come he, have four four big faces and Charlie's a little circle. What kind of Skype? Well, uh, is that's that? the new Skype. That's the new Skype. New you Skype. can okay, what you can do is double click on Charlie, and he will yeah. become larger. Okay. Or or you drag Charlie <laughs> down into one of the other squares. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No? You click on it, right? Okay, okay. It can only display four in the big screen. Yeah. We got a little. Uh, we got. We got. Technology t- we've gained in in two <laughs> years since I've been gone. I not- it's worse. <laughs> oh my! Goodness. It's about the same as it's always been. Uh, hey, there's Tony Manga. Yeah, but Tony, Tony has some sad news for us, right, Tony? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Alex's obituary show. Uh, at this point, no, it's, no, it's no, it's not. We don't know if 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 Mike Allen is dead yet. But uh, uh, tell him, Tony. I, I you know, he wants I, to. yeah, it was it was so fast, Alex. What happened was, my dad had a problem with his kidneys. I say about eight months ago, and we took him to the hospital, mm-hmm. and they got the kidney levels down, and they wanted to watch because the doctor were going to put him on dialysis, but they decided not to. Okay. So then it had to be about three weeks ago, and he looked like he had like a flu bug, and he lost his appetite. So my sister says, let's take him to New York Presbyterian right away. And Should he have taken him to the Jewish hospital. And, well, anyway, so we, we took him out, right? He looked weak to me. I thought he had a flu bug. Mm-hmm. So we didn't know. So we took him in. His kidney levels were high again, and he's diabetic, and pretty much they were running all these tests. They couldn't really find, like for cancer, they couldn't find anything. Then his he was his stomach was filling up with fluid, so they tapped it, and when they tapped it, they biopsied it, so they knew it was cancerous. So it was, they don't know exactly where it's coming from, and they think it was probably it was probably with a pancreas. So it just came, Alex. Within two weeks, we got him home on hospice. He lasted a week. He was gone in three weeks. My mother was, I don't want to make a joke of it, but my mother was going crazy when he was home because when he was really sick at the end, she, she want, we wanted him to pass. She made me go in the bedroom to get the crucifix to put it on the bed. I mean, come on. He says, what are you trying to kill me? He says, I'm already dying here. <laughs> but all joking aside. No, I'm, glad, no, I'm glad you've got a smile on your face telling the story. I did story. because my father was making me laugh. You would have got along with my dad because you know what he said? He did tell me this, Alex. He says, don't cry because I'm crying like a baby. He says, just remember me, you got to laugh at life and be good to people. Good, he says, good advice. a full life, he said. A good advice. You know? Sorry, you advice, Tony. Huh? Thank, thank, thank you very much, Albert. It was, Tony, didn't you learn your lesson when your, I, I think it was your aunt died and you yes. on Alex's show and he started making fun of her? No, I, I didn't. Press, and, wait a minute, no, Albert. Albert, Albert I did not make fun of her. You did what I said was, it was something... 
said you didn't like her. No, something I got from yeah. Penn Jillette. When people say something like that, like when they say um, that my girlfriend broke up with me, the first thing you should say is I never liked her anyway. Because he d nobody wants you to say, you lost your girlfriend? She was so terrific. Nobody wants to hear that. You know, yeah. so so yeah, so I out. took I took a clue oh, from Penn, but it was just in the wrong situation. And Tony called up and said his aunt had just died, and I said, "Well, yeah. I never liked her yeah. anyway." So, and he Alex, started crying. Yeah. And the one gonna, thing, I'm not going to cry because I kind of cried a little bit. You don't want, listen to this You don't guys. want a caller to cry. You really look bad. Yes, but uh, you know what? This is weird. No, what happened is it was Saturday. It was last Saturday. No, I believe it was the Saturday before. And he says, we call for the priest. My father even wanted a rabbi just to cover all the bases, we figured. You just figured. So yeah. you never know. I mean, so I says, Dad, we got the priest coming over. He's all right. So we're all sitting in the living room, and I forgot to take the phone off the hook. So when he's doing that last speech, like, the phone started ringing. So my father goes, that might be God for me. Tell him I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Oh, good man. Your good father man. had a great he sense. Had a joke. He, he was a great dirty, sense though. of humor. I mean, you know, you, I don't know how you feel about it. When my father went, I felt how really I felt really bad. And the first thought in my mind was, why didn't my mother go instead of him? Oh. Yeah. Well, she's driving me crazy already, Alex. I'm sleeping upstairs now every night. Really? Yeah, because she's afraid to be by herself. I if I had walk, hey, Tony, when you're coming Tony. Home. If yeah. I had wallpaper like that, I'd be afraid to sleep. By yeah, that is <laughs> that is hideous wallpaper. This, I know, Albert. She hasn't changed this. Albert, she says, go to the bank and look in the safety deposit box because Dad might have jewelry in there. And we yeah. went. It says, yeah, there was there was just like my grandmother's old photos. He didn't really have anything, so we just took it out of there. I thought I was going to find some money. I said, oh, I'm going to get lucky. Albert, just, Albert, am I handling this all right? I'm doing yeah, pretty tell good. him to square up his camera a little bit. This goes to oh, the YouTube. Yeah, I was crying bad before because you know why, Albert, Alex? Because I'm thinking of all the times like you know he would make me laugh. Move your he, move your head a little more into the center of the frame. Which, there, Tony. I think that's higher, what's right? bothering yeah. you. Yeah. No, 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 no. You move the camera. Oh. You move the camera. Are you on a laptop? Yeah, I am. Yeah, well, just okay. move the laptop there thing. Yeah, like there, you there you go. There you go. Is that better? Is that better, Albert? Good. She's doing good. My mom. We buried him in St. John's over here. And Boy, you buried him fast. Yeah, we don't want my dad says, get me at, one day, he said, because we had to live That's in what the Jews do. That's what the Jews That's do. That's what my father wanted to do. I told my dad, if I go, I says, get me out of here. It's, it's one day for the Muslims, two days for the Jews. We did one, Alex. That's what he wanted. He says, and how many days? Because he was going. He says, well, one it, day. Do you want to hear Alex, a story? I'll, tell you, come to the I'll tell you a story. Yeah, Albert, you remember Christy uh, Andrade, who was my, uh, and now she's got another name, Christy Whitmore, who was my producer in San Francisco. I may have introduced you to her at one time yeah, or another. Yeah, yeah. Well, when her, I think an aunt or somebody died, they, and they loved her. They just felt so bad That's about her dying. True. It was in the middle of a funeral strike. And her body stayed on ice for three months. It was driving them nuts. When you my know. father died, it was Passover, and they had to wait an extra day. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, you could, you know, you, what you could have done was uh, you could have left him out on the porch, and maybe Elijah would have taken him. Yeah, yeah. Really. Was, I only take some wine. I was crying before. Huh? What are your wishes, Alex? What? What are your wishes? What happens to you? Yeah, to me, you don't really like to consider that. that you're ever going to die, but should that happen at some should, point? Yeah. Alex <laughs> likes taxidermy. Well, I have no, I have no choice in the matter. If I go before Marjorie, freeze them like If I go, if I go before Marjorie, she's going to cremate me, which I'm. Uh, it's not really what I want to do. I want to do something where I'm still annoying people. So I want. I want. To, I, I think taxidermy is in 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 the, in the cards for me. Yeah. You know, we can freeze you next week and then bring you back in a 10, 20 yeah, like years. Disney. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, like Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Save that. Yeah. No, you just cut the head off and freeze the head. Yeah. Is that what you do? Well, that's, I think that's what they did. Think so. Yeah, I think that's what they do now. Yeah. 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 That's uh, what scam artists too. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I have a different body. Really. Yeah. yeah, they'll have a robot body to put your head on in the future. Yeah, and then we can uh, just animate you. Okay. See, what they do is when they take the head off of one guy, they give mm. the body to somebody else. So, uh, you know, <laughs> when... Look uh, at the picture on your screen. Who wants that body? <laughs> <What> body? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I don't know. I don't want my own. 
No, I don't put him on uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's body. My body's not listen, in. Listen, in. Uh, it's it's been fun, but I gotta go. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna try to check you, you off. Take care. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, what, what what did you say, Albert? I said I have to go. Yeah. I'm going to try to check in more often. Would you please? We, 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 in properly we enjoy again. having you here. Yeah, and, thank you for the love. And again, That's if you fun. want your show back, you can have it. You know. Well, we'll 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 see about that. We'll see. We'll if, get, we'll if get, we got we got lots of time slots available. There's one like at 10 in the morning. I think we have one at one in the afternoon. I think forget we have it, one. Forget at, it. I'm not doing any of that. That's not happening. It would be it would be nighttime. But uh, <laughs> nobody's noticed that I've shaved my mustache. What's wrong with you people? I noticed something. Yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah, I, I don't Charlie. notice those things because your, fa your facial Charlie hair is always changing. No, my my facial hair never. If if I don't shave, it grows. But yeah, I usually I had the mustache. Actually, but the mustache uh, you look very youthful without it. Oh well, thank you very much. I've Kevin also, can I've Kevin also can spare some out. of his for you if you want it back. You know. What's that? What? Uh, the beard and the mustache, you know, Kevin. Oh, oh Kevin, right, okay. Yeah, white, yeah. You know, a little white to go with him. Yeah. Believe it or not, Kevin, mine's whiter than yours when it grows in. <laughs> what are you guys, supremacists? <laughs> no, I mean, here's the thing. Hat. Here's the thing. You know, what is Kevin? What is Kevin's big job every year? Santa Claus. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's right. Either that, and yeah, the rest of the and that. the rest of the year, he plays a a, a Muslim zealot. You know, so. <laughs> On that I note, it, I painted black. We'll say a good night to all. Au revoir. Thank Goodbye, you Albert. Me. Call us more, awesome. will you? And we'll, what's that? Hey, call us more. There were a lot of people listening to you. They liked hearing from well, you. When you when you let me know that uh, Marjorie's going to be on, or did, did I give away her name by mistake? But you know, no, I, I call her Marjorie too. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. When girlfriend is on, yeah. I'll 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 try to stop by. Usually all. Fridays, first half hour. Also, you know, this website, it doesn't tell me when, when things are going on today. You have to tell me, you know, because I thought Damien was on. you got to put the updates. I, this, is a, this is a business now where people have to know. they got to have the listings. Well, I, used, listings I used to done. put up a note. Maybe I'll put up a note saying Damien is not on this week because of technical problems. All right. Well, let's not make that a major. Either that or that I just said it and everybody it should tell everybody else, you know. And you were a little late coming on, too, weren't you? No. No, no, no. Four minutes, I think. No. Albert, uh, this could be one of your producer duties uh, to... Uh, uh, I just try to jump in and... and uh, yeah. I oh, I always, I always run five minutes worth of promos before I go on. That's, oh, what, okay. that's what you probably mistook for, you know. Maybe that's it. I don't know anything about radio or podcast. Uh, neither, do I. So. neither do I. Neither do I. <laughs> well, you guys have fun tonight, and uh, I will uh, see you in uh, whenever, whenever I jump Ladies on and again. gentlemen, the best producer I ever had. Right there. And I thought I, I was the I best producer too. you ever had. Uh, yeah. No, really. What? <laughs> oh, you, what I was Phil was Phil, Phil Phil was my first producer in San Francisco. Really? Oh, Vernon, mm -hmm. all you guys, have a good night. Okay. And uh, and I will see you uh, in the next time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye bye, Albert. Quickies. Quickies. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got quickies. That's I was your producer other than Susan. When uh, Susan Oops. couldn't do it or something mm -hmm. and uh uh, you were going to go on vacation and you needed me to help the yeah. uh, other jocks that were taking over your show uh, for the vacation. Uh, I helped yeah. you for a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was Susan my producer? Yeah, she's, well, well, your producer. We answered the phones, you know, and uh, pulled the, I pulled the carts and pulled the music based on the chart but uh, basically, it was answering the phones and just giving you a finger as to which line to take. Yeah, and I, you know, pulled whatever. So, anyway, it's good to hear. Good to hear from Albert. Now all the audience is going away. See, he he is. He does uh, do pretty good. So anyway, I have all the equipment now installed, and I'm. It seems to all be working okay. Uh, My equipment's installed, but it doesn't work. Oh, well, but part of your equipment was taken away from you. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. Uh, no, but um, the only thing that was a problem is I was using an, an encoder. This company that makes uh, NiceCast, which is the encoder I've been using, came out with a new one and said we're not supporting NiceCast anymore. So I started using the new one. And then I'm listening to it through the earphones the other day, and I hear this kind of phasing, whooshy kind of sound 
you probably couldn't tell it if you if you hear it just on your little computer speaker but if you listen to it very closely it's there and it's not there when i use nicecast so i wrote these people and i said uh uh you got a problem here you know it's something that a tech technician who's building a program would never hear because that's not what they're listening for you know and um uh so i had to go back to nice cast which is fine with me you know I'll, I'll use it till i can't use it no mo and maybe they'll fix that other one the other program well, so. the new board sounds nice the new it's board's clean. fine yeah it's really clean and uh, all uh, there were a lot of ticks and pops and things that i had on the other one and i i all the all the all the the uh, sliders are very clean and don't break up or anything like that you know so uh, it's it's okay. I have to get used to it. I still there's things I don't understand how it works. You know, like I have a graphic equalizer here, but I can't figure out how I make it work. You know, I just don't know why it's sitting there. Anytime I move stuff, it doesn't change anything. Uh, you might have to push a button that uh, that allows the graphic equalizer to work, because what you may be doing is, uh, you know, the, depending on which uh, on the input there are. Uh, on my thing, there are all all sorts of other uh, choices. So you can uh, look at it equalize. You you can change your pots to be other stuff uh, just on the fly. So it's a graphic equalizer. When you push this button, it's uh, you know showing you your output. When it's that button, I don't know. If, but anyway, and then of course I've got uh, you know the echo. So <laughs> I tell you, you're going to love that thing. No, why? I don't have any use for it. It's got like it's got like 15 echoes and that's all I, you know, why doesn't it have other stuff? You know, well, you know, when you want to have a certain sound, you, you press the it probably does have other stuff, probably allows you to put other stuff in. I guess I would imagine. I don't know. But anyway, I am uh, I am I'm I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it's working OK. And you guys are sounding good, and I'm sounding good on your end, right? So yeah, that's all that matters. Um, yes, uh, Vernon. So anyway, um, so between Russ, uh, between Russ, between Phil and uh, I used to know a guy named Russ Meyer. Uh, yes, he was a filmmaker. Uh, Phil Meyer and uh, Vernon Nunn, the two of them did a little detective work. And uh, who knows? I mean, I, I, I sent all this information to Jack, and Jack, you know, he's at a loss for what? what has happened because this was a guy who regularly called every night and if he somehow was in some kind of problem where he couldn't call a lot he would write or do something you know but here it's like something that incapacitated him and uh and we we think we think the worst you know how yeah. can you, how can you not think that unless he's in a coma somewhere you yeah. think he's well, dead? It, if he is, but that never prevented it. Off. That never prevented him from calling before. Thank you very much. That was a joke. <laughs> is that the guy Mike who used to have a, like a smoked a lot or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder if he did somehow. Well, oh, oh, listen, listen, listen. The guy I heard on Jack Show should have been dead years ago. You know, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, that that was that was a, a accident waiting to happen. You know, so yeah. I wonder if he is okay. Yeah. By the way, I, I don't think so. Why? I mean, we, we uh, you know, I had note left on his door by mm -hmm. the police department. Uh, you know, it's I, I looked at his house on uh, uh, Google, uh, you know, where you can oh, do, do street, do street, like street view. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and, uh, you know, he, the neighbors weren't all that mm -hmm. close. There was land around it, but uh, and he's been there for a while. Ray what Renati has now been changed been has now changed his moniker, his way of writing his name on screen, so you all know as R R. Hey, which is like a would be a great pirate name. I did no, R R. Are you talking what? about me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, it's because Alex, the, the classic Skype that we had been using doesn't work anymore, and I had to go back to more versions. Oh. Ah, so that might happen to you soon. What, do what you are you on? I'm on seven. I had to go back to uh, seven point three, seven point three six. No, that's point. what I, that's what I'm using. 
Oh, okay, I had been using the one after that. Yeah. See, Ray lives in Palo Alto, and what he didn't tell you is because he got rid of his Volkswagen, he bought a Rolls Royce, and now he's RR. Yeah, I see. Okay. <laughs> Does it say RR? Uh, yeah. 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 And, yeah. Well, uh, uh, by I, the way, uh, by the way, so um, uh, so you so you were using another one. Now you're using the seven point three six. Yeah, I was using yeah, seven. That's the one. Four zero zero one. A seven what? Seven. I was using seven point four zero. No, seven point three six dot something. I think. Yeah, dot that's one what I have now. Yeah, is four, five, it, is six, the one eight, that for some seven, reason nine. they're not able to. Uh, they haven't been able to block. Not yet. They'll figure it out eventually. Well, maybe they will, and maybe they won't. Maybe they just they never don't know. at this Did point. They block your last one that was classic, Ray. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was the, like the version after this. Yeah, or they say you can't after. go on unless you up. Data to the yeah, news. Yeah, it, it worked great until just today, and it, mm. that's what I've been spending the last half hour. And they tried to stop me in so many ways, so I had to get Revo uninstaller to get every single last thing out of my registry, so they didn't, because they're putting something in there. Yeah, well, they know se- people are doing it. Seven point you know? three six, I think it's dot one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. is the is the one, and I have it here on my desktop. It's uh, seven point three six point zero point one oh one. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the one. Uh, that's yeah. the one I use, and uh, I have it on my desktop, the setup, in case. Because what it doesn't do is on my uh, Windows, it doesn't put a uh, an icon up anywhere. So mm-hmm. I had to take it and uh, uh, pin it to oh, my, right. pin it to the uh, to the that's thing. That's a good point. Yeah, so it doesn't, does it? Yeah. No, it, it, it you don't have an icon, right? No, you no, can no. Make I'd have an icon. No, I'll just make my you? own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just just what you do is yeah. just uh, pin it to the uh, to the uh, thing and bar bar, and no matter what happens, it will always be there, even if you yeah. sign off of it or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, so when you I, said the what? Skype li- Skype lines were open tonight. I went pushed the Skype button, and it made me sign in. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe I turned off the computer uh, to to do something. Uh, you else. might have had uh, to sign uh, in. It might have been just off. You know, when mine goes off, I it makes me sign in again. You know, that meant I had to remember my Skype thing and my Skype. Um, uh, what do you call it? ID and yeah. my Skype yeah. uh, uh, code. Uh, I, I didn't remember it, so I had to try all the usual suspects. So, as you know, I have nothing exciting to ever talk about because I don't do anything really exciting except. We had our television set, my uh, my 3D TV, the good one. Uh, th- not the good one, the old one. I have two 3D TVs. The other one's still working. And I love 3D. And once that goes, I'm going to have like, I'm going to go apoplectic, right? But the other one in the living room died. So we went out and bought a new TV set. And what we bought was this uh, standby TCL. Have you heard of TCL? No. No. Yeah. Is that like praise the Lord? No. Uh, no. That no. Work? Bought a TCL. <laughs> and and uh, the reason I bought it, there were two reasons I bought it. Number one, it's got Roku built into it. It's a Roku TV set, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't have to buy a new Roku if I go to 4K. So I went to 4K with this thing, and I wondered what kind of a TV set would I be getting because... Uh, it was only at Costco three hundred and sixty-five dollars for a fifty-five-inch four K HDR. I've actually heard good write-ups on them. Actually, it's not bad. It's not. It's not as good a picture as my Samsung. Samsung does a great picture, and my LG's great picture too. This one has a great picture on its own. It's fine. Yeah. Plus. I get the Roku with it, so I don't even have to spend the 79 bucks to get the 4K Roku. So the guy tonight, I hired a guy, called a guy, and for 79 bucks, he uh, pulled down my old one and hung the new one. And it's up there, and it's working, and, you know, it's, it's fine. Ruby. So that's my excitement, folks. So your TV is well hung. Huh? Yeah, my TV is well hung. <laughs> uh, uh, but, well, yeah. Yeah, I, I I like things that are well hung, right? Yeah. So anyway, um, last yeah, Best Best Buy has it for three sixty nine ninety nine. Really? Okay. Well, yeah. I, Alan gives them I, away on I her got, show. I I got it for three. About, I think I got it for the same amount. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's so cheap. Yeah. Damn. 
But yeah. I mean, look, yeah, you know, they're... why, uh, you know, I mean, okay, let's say this thing sucks and it breaks in a year. What did I spend on it? Exactly. You know, lattes. with this thing, I can. 100 lattes. 100 lattes. Yeah, 100 lattes. Yeah. That's it. You I know. have a Vizio in the bedroom. I don't like That's it. That's what I do, too. I bought a Vizio bed where Alex bought his, too. Well, I, I, I bought a Samsung in the uh, guest room, and girlfriend has discovered it because the other one broke, so she had to go in there in the morning and watch TV in there, and she goes, that's the best set we have. I said, no <laughs> shit. You know, I have a Samsung. I've had, how long have we had that Samsung? Like 10, 15 years, like it, a big screen, and it's incredible. Yeah. I, yeah. I had a Samsung and it went out and I bought it at Costco. So I brought it back. They uh, gave me all the money for it. And I didn't want to get another Samsung because it went out after like two and a half years. So I bought a Sharp. Uh, not only did I get a five year uh, warranty with it, uh, I got $800 back. Oh. Phil, <laughs> Phil, our TV. Phil, our Samsung went out at two years, too, because there was a flaw in the fuses. Yeah. And you had to have yeah. someone come in. This guy came in for free, yeah. uh, took the TV down off the wall, put the fuses in, put it back up on the wall, mounted it. He was gone in 15 minutes. It was like nothing happened. It's worked perfectly. Well, I'm not, throwing my, I'm not throwing my old set away because it oh, may really? well be something like a fuse. How do you know when a fuse goes? Well, there was some it, – it, well, because they gave us all an email or something. It was like well, if you I, bought that – I didn't get the email, but I went online uh, and there was a forum and a lot of people were having the same problem. They didn't say it was a fuse. They said it was uh, some other part. No, it and, wasn't a uh, fuse, a capacitor. Capacitor. Yeah, I think that might And what does that look capacitor. like? Because my... It's a, like a little die, like one of those little diodes. No, no, no. But I mean... Things. No, 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 no. It just stopped working. It just... Yeah, and it stopped working, but they just had to take it out, put a new one in, and they put it she back. She said the picture went all green and then nothing. Yeah, that's what happened. Really? So maybe I can get this thing fixed easily. Uh, it's it, the, the if it's, that's what it is, it's a no-brainer. Uh, the people there's people who do it, and I think they do it for free still. Really? Because well, this is an L kind of, this like, is a, this happens to be an LG. By the way, Sharp is now making TV sets with oh, the Roku goodness. built in. You know, which is great because you can get Gabnet and Gabnet TV. Oh, wow. my Roku How is telling me. That it, uh, I can put a chip in it uh, to or a, oh, a memory the, card. Oh, that's a memory so I card. Don't have to yeah. Download stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You just go get a little chip and put it in there. I don't know why they don't just put more memory in those things. I guess they figure they have to raise the price by ten, fifteen dollars, uh -huh. and they don't want to do that. I looked on the thing. I have some of those little micro SD cards. Yeah. Uh, for some for well, my if it'll, GoPro, if it'll fit, and in I, there. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't find. Uh, I couldn't find where you put it. Uh, there's a little there's a little slot. It's I think right under the uh, U, uh, the uh, ISDN uh, the uh, what the Ethernet import. There may be a right. little slot. I'll look. Uh, look look and see. But anyway, this version of Skype is the best. He's pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. this old version. I mean, yeah, and it gets all the names of everybody yeah, and stuff you don't like have that. To put your thing over the, to see the name. They're all there. Yeah, Screens. yeah. You can add people to contacts right from their picture. It, it seems as though it seems as though the people at Microsoft kept saying, getting having brainstorming meetings, and the brainstorming went something like this: What can we do to fuck Skype up more? <laughs> hey, let's take away all those names under the uh, the pictures. Okay, I mean this is this particular version is gold. It's perfect. Yeah, and and those stupid circle things were driving me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, and uh, I, I just thought it was like that game show. Circle gets the square. No, no, but <laughs> but but you, you can imagine them the the engineers at uh, at uh, at Microsoft jerking off, saying, "We've got them in circles now." You know, we got them in circles. <laughs> it, it's terrible. It's disgusting. And they it, they won't listen to anybody. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of chatter on their forums about how bad this latest version is of Skype and how they wish they'd allow them to go back to classic and use that if you want to. There's no reason why you can't. I'm doing it right now. Can you Me get too. more people on the screen if they're all circles? I mean, uh, are you... I have no you know, idea. Screen space, I have maybe no idea, you, but... You can, but to I be, don't think that... To begin with, I, have, I, I tried it, as you may remember, for one night, and I could not figure out... Here, 
what happens is, folks, when somebody calls me, uh, it says add to group, and I just click on add to group, right? And I they come right onto the group. There is no way to do that in the new Skype. You have to like have everybody ready to go or something. I don't know, or call them back. I couldn't figure it out to save my life, and I'm sorry. I'm not an idiot, but uh, this version of Skype is really pretty much um, uh, a, a you know no brainer, you know. Uh, it, it, uh, and the new one uh, is not user friendly at all. You can't figure how out much, anything about how it. much you want to bet that they're going to sell the old version of Skype. If you want the old version, it costs nine ninety five. I'll pay for it. I'll pay a hundred bucks for it if you want to do add a few features, you know. But I don't want the new Skype. The new Skype sucks. It totally yeah. sucks. I have a friend who was in middle management at Microsoft, and she says it's just chaos over there. Like no, none of the no, no. Everyone just does what they want. Uh, departments don't talk to one another. It's just a mess. It, it, and it's because they they just rely on you know um, their Xboxes and Windows. And, and the rest because, of it's just all just uh, playtime for everyone. If, if I remember, Paul, did Paul Allen die? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe they just lost direction. You know. Uh, no, this was while he was there. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. No, but uh, you know, you know what? If I remember correctly, remember how Skype started? Yeah, it was uh, independent program. Yeah, but but do you remember how it started? By who? So uh, was it my Microsoft. The guys who start I think the guys who started Napster, I believe. Either that Weren't or they in Norway. The guy who started yeah. Napster went yeah. to work for uh owns uh Facebook. Uh no. Zuckerberg? No, Zuckerberg. No, the other the other guy. Uh, uh he, right. the guy who started Nap Napster. He's he's a major guy early well, Facebook. Yeah, but, but I I can't remember, but somebody like it was like Napster or something. And they, they sold it, or they got rid of it, and they moved on, and they started. Their idea was, well, we fucked up the record business. <laughs> Let's go fuck up the, the phone company. And that's why they started Skype. And uh, they got Skype going. A lot of people love Skype. It was a great, uh, it was a great uh, uh, VoIP uh, with his, video. His, and, Nick, his name was Nicholas Zenstrom. Who's, and Giannis Fries. What? Who started who started who, Skype? Who's the guy who's the guy who started Napster? That wasn't them. Uh, I don't know. Well, they started Skype. Those were the guys who started Skype, right? Yeah. And where does yeah. it say they and came from? That, yeah. It must, Janice Fries from Denmark. Yeah, and it must yeah. say somewhere where well that could be the Napster. Napster piece. Napster was Sean Parker, John Fanning, Fanning. and Sean Fanning. Oh, that's yeah. the Facebook Sean, guy. Yeah. Fanning guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and but so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Now in the in the thing on oh, no, Skype, they came from somewhere. They had done yeah. something before that. Did it say? Oh let me see. Oh yeah, the Skype guys? Yeah. Sweden and oh, Denmark. Let me, let's see. Yeah, I know they were from Sweet Denmark. Let's see. Skype uh, software created by historians of the uh, Hmm. He started as a telecom. Let's see. He was at uh, oh Kazaa, Kazaa, Kazaa. That was it. Kazaa. Okay, and Kazaa <laughs> was forced out of business because it was a torrent. Basically a torrent, and thing. it also put kind of all kinds of uh, spam and and uh, t uh, what do you call them viruses on your computer. Yeah, yeah. So that anyway, they they, they stopped like Kazaa. They stopped Kazaa, and they went and started Skype. And then after a while, Microsoft. Uh, I think somebody else bought them up, and then Microsoft bought it. And Microsoft <laughs> has ruined it. Literally ruined it. And I know I, all those people over there who are jerking off at their program with the circles is just saying, no, you're nuts. This is great. This is the best thing ever, you know. We like our circles. Yeah, we love And we're going to have a circle jerk later on. Uh, to, <laughs> yeah, that's how they thought of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a tribute to their circle. Well, yeah. let's, let's, let's talk about uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, elephant in the room. Uh, and elephants are usually Republicans. And uh, usually, in the room. It's, it's, usually it's Donald. Bill, where's your trunk? <clears throat> it's Donald Trump, who today, among other things, said that he <laughs> believes that what we should do for the 4th of July is have a military parade in Washington, oh, D.C. 
He's been talking about well, that. Well, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Since the uh, one in isn't France. that wonderful? Isn't it wonderful that he talked about it? Do you know that there already is a military parade in Washington on the 4th of July? <laughs> Hey, he's getting a two-four. Yeah, but I mean, he didn't know that. Well, uh, well, well he won't be together. playing golf then. Yeah, yeah. And he also has been going around spreading a major lie that we have been building the wall. Yeah, what is that? We have. And and well, and and news we people have. and reporters and so on have gone out and said that since he's been president. Not one inch of a wall has been built. Probably fake news. Yes, on his part. <laughs> on his part. Is, I thought they didn't get the money. No, he he he's saying. And now and now here in, here's the here's the best uh, part. Wait a minute. Here's the yeah. best part. Here's the best part. He uh, he had this rally yesterday in El Paso. I watched that fucking thing. My God. Yeah. I tortured myself through that whole day. Yeah. And, what, the and, the and, what, and wait a minute. What was the oh big God. slogan for How them to come start? The cameras never <laughs> show the crowd. Because there was only that crowd behind him, and that's it. Six people there. Nah, nah, they said it was a big crowd. It was, uh, and there was yeah, they said. people outside. Uh, and they said that they Beto shipped them all in. didn't have uh, 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 very many people at his. Uh, because. Well, who said, who was, said that? They said that. All the locals went to O'Rourke's, and then all the other people were shipped in. So o only the illegal aliens went to O'Rourke's? <laughs> well, probably. They, they just drove down the street. And well, El Paso is very mad at the president because they said that, that his insinuation that uh, the um, uh, El Paso <laughs> is a safer city now since uh, they built fencing down there is a lie because they had been having a, a lessening of problems in El Paso for almost a couple of years before. Since 2009. They, you know why? 2009. They, they did build fence. They built fence at El Paso. But the fence and Juarez ha the has a very high crime rate. But, but, the, but, the fence, but, the, but the fence had nothing to do with it, Phil, because the crime rate had been going down even before they built the fence. 2009. Yo. 2009. They were afraid of the fence that was coming. No, Phil, listen to me. <laughs> this is, I'm, 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 I'm giving you I'm giving you facts here. The the, peop, uh, the mayor, who is I think a Republican of El Paso, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. was complaining about the president insinuating that because he says it's been a very safe city since what? Since you said since 2009, before there was ever a fence there. He's a Jack Republican. Hey, you know, um, I have to say, a few days ago, I heard Trump call El Paso a hellhole. I heard it. And no one has reported on it because That's we're just so true. used to it. <laughs> it is not true. He called it a hellhole until lately when they've built fence, fence a wall there, oh, more wall. I heard him say So that. they have built wall. But no, he's lying. First, he's calling it a hellhole. And no one even, like, caught it. He just is able to say shit like that now. You know what? I mean, that's just... Like, honestly, I, it was, let, 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 let Kevin tell No, Kevin tell no hell hole. Kevin? Hell hole. You know what? Honestly, almost I almost threw uh, my coffee cup through the TV last night when I saw or I heard this. And this has to do with the, uh, the uh, abortion thing. He actually said this, almost word for word. He described the whole... He talked about um, Northam over there in Virginia. Mm-hmm. And he says, <clears throat> he said it like this. He said, and now they got this problem in Northam. And they said that the guy was going to do uh, his little moon dance. But his wife told him, no, he shouldn't do that. And that was a good idea. But the guy's deciding now, these Democrats are deciding that they're going to um, uh, let the babies come to term. They're going to pull them out of the mother. They're going to wrap them in a little blanket, and then they're going to talk to the mother, and they're going to talk to the father, and then they're going to execute the baby. And I almost threw my coffee cup at the fucking TV. That's fucking murder. Yeah. And he's preaching this shit at the rally. No, well, at the rally good. yesterday, what, what, what was it? What, what was it he do? said no, about? That's what they want to hear. I, that's bullshit. I saw the interview. First of all, he is a doctor. He's a medical doctor. 
and he, he was talking in a way that a doctor he said we you know a discussion would be had with the parents he never said oh we're going to kill the baby he never said any of that shit he, he, said he made they a, will execute the baby no this that's i know what, but this guy never said. said that i saw the interview and yeah. I heard it. And wasn't he did the not law, say that? Wasn't the law that they wanted that uh, they could uh, abort that, that they could abort up until uh, conception? He Trump Late says they'll, they'll, execute, they'll save the cut mother. the cord, they'll wrap the baby in a blanket, and they'll execute the baby after they talk to the parents. That's not what the guy Which said. I saw and that's too. just bullshit. No. That's not what the guy. That's not that Mitt Trump is. And he totally said this at a rally, and they he's all went ooh. The whole thing. And he got the reaction. He, 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 he be, they believe any shit he throws at them. That's the the horrible that's part what just of that. Blew me away. Wait you a know, minute. He, Trump a isn't the one that was in blackface. A, so straight up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thing. Let's not get into what about isms, Phil. That has nothing to do with what oh we're talking about. I, what the they're doing is you know, they're using this to cover up this infanticide thing. Hear me out for they, a second. That they got in New wait, York. Wait, listen, 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 listen to Ken. You guys have always talked about how this guy is starting to resemble Hitler. You know, six months ago you guys talked about this, but I have not ever bought that into that. But it's really starting to look that way. Hey, I swear to God, if Trump he doesn't win, win the 2020 win. election, I, I guarantee you he will try to figure a way out not to leave that White House. I, I, he's, he's, he's priming it now. I know. He's been priming it for three months. He's priming it hard now. That's he what started, Hillary Clinton said. The day after, well, the I, day after I, he was Clinton. inaugurated, he filed for 2020. There you go. Yeah. yeah. He knew he was going to do this, and he's been doing it ever since. And he's he's working it hard now. And just think how brilliant that's exactly that is. what that some bitch over in Germany did. Kevin, just think just think how brilliant that is. If he didn't file for twenty twenty, then he would have been a lame duck from day oh, sure, one. Sure, it's brilliant, but look what he's doing to you people, or, or doing to the. I'm not, I'm not pointing it at you, Phil. Believe me, yeah. it, it, it's 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 an evangelistic it's it's an evangelistic type brainwashing. Religion. Yeah. thing that he's doing to people and you can so, see it and the what, people standing behind Kevin? him at these rallies they're standing there going yeah. yes sir Kevin, yes what what yes, and what flap, Cuomo in New York now. and Northam in Virginia said about late term abortions uh is, is okay with you what he said about it yeah well you know he's he, I guess New York state and uh uh and Virginia both he didn't are allowing say what Trump said no, I'm asking you about the, wait, wait, wait the late minute. Josh, term Josh looks a little apoplectic at this discussion. Uh, do you have any? Do you want to get in on this, Josh? Well, I'm okay for the moment. I'm just listening. I'm. Uh... That, that, it's not. It's not. Uh, that wasn't the point that I was trying to make. It's the crap that he's spewing out his pie hole. Well, it's the, to it's, the, the it's, it's the total to lies. It's the the lies. Like there was something. Wasn't there that's something another, about the the, the, dem, the Democrats? The, the Democrats are going to want you to get rid of your cows. Was that? Did, did I hear Ocasio, him? Ocasio Ocasio wants that. She says no, no more cows, no more methane. Give me a break. Yeah. No, Ugh. no, she, she doesn't. No, getting, she didn't. It's... No, she didn't. According to Trump, she did, but she didn't. Okay. You know. He up. was that he was against the green initiative or the green uh, deal, yeah, as it's yeah. called, New and green deal, yeah. And he says that yeah. means you're going to have to get rid of your cows. What things are getting blown out of proportion, from. and he's and he's feeding that, uh, and they all believe it because they're morons. That's right. Well, I, I hate to call them morons, but it's they're they're falling into the the trap. Well, the, it you, is like what happened in Germany. It very, it, it, it really is. Well, it's, it's it, it, green well. Green Deal. Uh, this is from Beef Magazine. <laughs> green Deal <laughs> proposes <laughs> eliminating farting cows because they don't want the methane. Well, actually, the cows do ex cause most of the methane gas problem. We'll put a bag have. on their ass, and we can manufacture that. They do yeah, actually. I mean, it's a fact. Real. Actually, we do use them. We do. We do we use them. Capture the methane we, everywhere we could. I mean, we need. To, we do need to have less cows, or we need to figure out how to well, manage I, the methane I had that's a, getting put into the. I, atmosphere. I had a uh, a proposal a few no, years no ago. More railroads. Well, are you going to listen? Can I say something here? I made a proposal a few years ago that methane is uh, a form of uh, of uh, fuel. And that it is the product of, uh, of uh, well, the best version of it is cow shit. 
it's it's rich in methane but human waste is rich in methane as well and what we should do is we should recycle it as methane and the therefore the more people you have around the more methane you've got yes the company Kevin. i used to work for is is made uh made money off that they capture the methane coming off of sewage plants and they capture it and they put it into cars because my question is my question is well, wait a minute look my my question is and this is i think a a, a a good question and that is when we shit and it goes down the toilet where does it go it where do they flush it where does it where is it? Because it's got to be treatment plant. Eighty goes, goes to the treatment water. plant. Okay, so when it goes to the treatment plant, what happens to it after it's been treated? It gets well, processed, here, and the methane goes up into the air. But it does get it does well, get scrubbed. Well, well let's no, let's not the put air. the methane in the air. Let's recycle it back into the into the city and help. The that's more people exactly who shit, the more power the we have. The company I used to work for did, and that's what I was proposing to them to do in my area down here because we have a sewage plant right along one of the highways. And I yeah. said, put one of your methane reformers right alongside that highway and you can have a gas station yes, right there. Yes, folks, we are talking about powering cities by shit. Okay? By shit, so, that's right. And, and there's so much cow there's shit. plenty of yeah. it. Oh, we got shit in San Francisco on the sidewalks. We don't need cows. Absolutely. Uh, it's not It's not good for the Atkins diet. But hmm. uh, freshman senator says, quote. What freshman uh, we, senator? Ocasio. Uh, He's uh, not a senator. Yeah, senator. senator. Oh, congressman, freshman oh. senator. Huh? Yeah, they, yeah, there's an error here. Yeah. You're right. What, 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 well, what do you mean? There's an error it's there. Beefmagazine.com. Oh, beef magazine. Well, they, oh, yeah. that, that's them. not biased. Yeah. No, and so it says. It says freshman senator. We know she's a congresswoman. Uh, quote: We set a goal to <laughs> wait get a minute. Zero. Wait a minute. I'm going to start w agreeing and uh, listening to a report from a magazine. Number one called Beef Magazine, but number <laughs> two, where's the beef? <laughs> number two that doesn't know that. Did, do they name Alexandria Ocasio Cortez by name? Uh, yeah, they do. They do. Uh, yeah. Uh, last week, uh, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Democrat in New York, and Senator Ed Mar Markley, Markey. Uh, Democrat, yeah, Democrat in Massachusetts, released the details of the Green New Deal, which promises to eliminate all U.S. carbon emissions while uh, remaking the U.S. economy. And getting down to this quote says, uh, we set a goal to net zero rather than zero emissions in 10 years because we aren't sure we'll be able to fully get rid of farting cows and airplanes that fast right so end right. quote right so and, uh, i i think we should go to work on non-farting cows yeah serve uh, them all give, pino give them green. pino i, I was that and stuff i would pino? say that it sounds to me pino like in their grain uh, that yeah. statement was not saying let's do away with cows it just said that we can't do anything about that uh, yeah. we can't do it that quickly well yeah but uh, yeah, it says Alex is still on the Atkins diet. We need the beef. Why don't they just stick a catalytic converter on the cow's ass? They get too hot and uh, mm. yeah, uh, Vernon. <laughs> Vernon, Vernon has his hand up. Vernon, what about farting old people? <laughs> Never trust a fart. <laughs> well, yeah, farting. I resemble people. that remark. Yeah, don't we all? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, if we're going to kill anything that farts, then uh, I guess uh, I'm I'm a goner, you know. I mean, the only pleasure I have in life anymore is that morning fart, you know. That's right. I've already farted five times since you started talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, fart is the gas. happiness of life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, 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 I guess uh, as you get older, you fart more. Yep. I it's think. Fun. Well, it depends on what you eat. Yeah. You know, uh, you can do it in stores. You got to stay, stay, stay regular. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't eat spicy stuff anymore, and I think I'm going from coffee to tea, and then pretty soon it'll be hot water with lemon. You know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, uh, you know, like, Pretty old. <laughs> yeah, wow. you sure are, because I ain't you know, giving up my steaks. I, re I, re 
Well, I remember, uh, you know, the days when I knew these old people and they drank hot water with lemon. And I said, why do they do that? Hey, well, listen, well, now I know. I got to tell you, in uh, China, before a meal, uh, they, they they eat hot, they drink hot water. Helps uh, with the digestion. Helps with the digestion. They do I'm not, right, they do not time. eat, drink anything with ice. Wow. Yeah. You have to ask for ice in order to get, you know, if you're... My, my father was a soda jerk when he was a kid. And he said he didn't ever get ice in his, uh, in, his, in his cold drinks. And I said, why? He says, because every time you ask you want ice, the guy behind the counter would go like this, cross his nose, and then reach in, grab the ice, and put it in the glass. <laughs> and so he, he wouldn't order ice in his drinks because he said that it was like this is what the, everybody does when they go to get ice. Well, uh, you know, I mean, uh, they, don't, they don't like ice. Uh, uh, in fact, there, I, w I went into a couple of 7-Elevens in, uh, in, in Beijing, uh, no, no Slurpees. No Slurpees. No Slurpees at all. And, no. and you know, if you think about it, if you, if you all think about it, you probably have never seen or heard a Chinese guy fart. I haven't. Well, honestly. I I, well, oh uh, yeah, I have. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like really bad that I, I had to think about it for a second, but yeah. The old ones in the stores. Oh, that's right. They just fart at will. You know, like just the, the bag place. ladies. You know, <laughs> maybe Albert they don't care is either. Maybe yeah, Albert is like, right about our conversations here. Yeah, yeah, it's like like SpongeBob. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when the uh, when the um, uh, windows used to open on the subway trains in New York? Yes. And it was hot, and people would blow their nose oh, out the yeah. window. Oh yeah. 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 Big old rocket snuts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember that, but I remember when. You know what they used to have in the subways that they don't have anymore? Tokens. No. Oh, well, tokens. besides that. I and I them. wonder why they stopped it. Because really, on a really hot day, you could use them. There are no ceiling fans in the subways anymore. And they used they to be met. No, they don't. They don't? No, the only, the only station in the city that has air conditioning is the one under Grand Central Station, and the reason it does is because they're a, they air condition Grand Central Station, so they pump some of that cold air down there. But any other station, no. And they used to have ceiling fans, and they don't anymore. And ceiling fans would, you know, part of the problem, the reason it gets so hot in the, in the subway is you get on a car, and of course it's cool because it's got air conditioning. What is the product of air conditioning? Hot air. It's hot air. So that yeah. the reason the stations are doubly hot during the summer is because of the hot air being pushed out by the uh, by the air conditioning in the cars. So and the I cars thought, do have air now. They air, they all have air. Yes. Well, they did thought, when I when I was a kid. They didn't have air conditioning. But I always thought it was windows. the rat fart, the rats farting in the subways down there, that made it so hot. Well, they have a pretty good diet. Methane source. Well, I don't give a rat's <laughs> fart. Yeah. Anyway. Poor One time ass. I was in the subway in New York, and this and the, and this guy had coins, and he says to his girlfriend, "Watch this." And the door was about to close, and there was a rat about this big running with a sandwich. And he threw a nickel at the rat, and I like, hit the rat right in the head. And like rats, like boom, the sandwich went flying. It was the funniest thing I ever seen. Oh, by the way, a couple, good. couple little uh, little items news wise that that you may have missed. Uh, mm. it, you know, I was really surprised to hear that they found El Chapo guilty. How about you? Yeah, really? Counts. Huh? Yeah, he came and across counts. the border. Yeah. Yeah, we had had a wall. He never would have. We never would have. Never would have made it. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. we never would have been able to get that shit over. You know, that right. guy killed hundreds and thousands of. He buried people, people alive himself. Yeah. yeah. That guy. He he, he was one uh, real piece of uh, work. He still is. I you know. He, I and, hear and the I, wall on the other side of the wall. They used to find all these bodies, decapitated things like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, th that uh, El Chapo uh, got found guilty. Wow. I, I was amazed at that. I, I thought he was going to skate. Uh, you know what El Chapo means? Shorty. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? It's only 5'5 five, five or something like that. What did they find him guilty of? Uh, parking on the other side of the wall? or <laughs> <laughs> so, Something like that, Phil. Sure. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, here, here's something that pissed me off. This is uh, um, by the way, this weekend I watched my favorite award show, 
uh, the BAFTAs, uh, which go on in England. And I thought those were in Iraq. No. <laughs> what? The BAFTA party. The BAFTA. Bath the party. Oh, bath, that was bath party. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, it was. That was the uh, party of. Uh, How do you so get I'm from saying. BAFTA to bath party? Will you no, tell me? This is bath. It's BAFTA. It's BAFTA. BAFTA. Yeah. Anyway, do you know what one? It just completely dominated the evening and winning awards. Roma. Uh, one like oh, about five or six awards. Yeah, yeah. The one was made in Mexico. Oh, Trump would hate that. The Trump would hate that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the subtitles were done <laughs> in, in the United States. Really? How do no. you know? <laughs> I don't know. What that yeah. um, but so now we have the Motion Picture Academy scrambling to find ways to pair time from the perennial overlong Oscars ceremony. So they revealed that four trophies will be handed out during commercial breaks. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the spokesperson that. for the Academy said Monday the awards for cinematography, film editing, makeup, and hairstyling, and live action short will be presented off air. Boy, that really makes these people feel like shit. I mean, how much time is that going to shave off the show? What they should do is watch the BAFTAs because at the BAFTAs, all the awards they're giving away, they don't tell little jokes and shit like that. They just get right to it. And then the people come up and they grab their award. They talk for about 30 seconds, say thank you very much, and they move on. Well, that would make too much sense. That would make too much sense. But then these people, I mean, it's like you're saying, eh, well, you know, what do people care about film editing and cinematography and makeup and hairstyling and live action shorts? Well, I do, you know? Um, so anyway... Uh, that's what they're going to do. And the plan to move some of the awards to commercial breaks was announced back in August as part of the Academy's vow to keep the ceremony running time to three hours. Actually, I, I think it's the trouble is the Oscars is slowly but surely uh, wending their way into irrelevancy, you know? So, anyway. Uh, you know, I, I used, when you and I would go to the movies... Uh, you'd always watch the credits. Yes. I used to get up and you know the credits, and I and I leave, and you'd say, no, 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 no I want to, I want to see this, and then Susan would well, say, I like to see who the best boy grip was. Well, no, but here's the here. I'll tell you, here's the reason why I always watch the credits, if especially if it's a movie I like. It's because it's my way. It's my form of applause. It's me saying, <laughs> hey, you guys did a great job here, and I want to see everybody that had anything to do with it. Even though it's going by too fast for me to read all the names. And, and, of course, the people that are stepping over your legs trying to get out, you know, while you're... Well, fuck them. Fuck them. It's, it's the a movie. matter of respect. The, 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 I, always, I always stay to the absolute end. Do you really? And you know what's, what they started doing, of course, in a lot of films, is started putting an extra scene in after the credits exactly. are over with. Yeah, exactly. I, know I wait that. for that, too. Yeah. Uh, and Marvel was doing that. Uh, yeah, and there, and there then, was a movie that did that years ago, and it was like that that extra scene, and nobody had ever done that before. It was kind of new. Now to speed Howard things up, to speed was things that? up at the Baftas, they didn't give the awards away, certain awards away, in the main body of the show, but they did it before the show started. Okay, and then at the oh. end of the show, they say, a previ uh, previously in the evening, the following awards were given away, and they show people getting them, uh, announcing them, and them coming up and making a short speech, and just a, a medley of those. Now, I thought that was that good. They did that at the Oscars once. Hmm? Yeah. A long they did that a long time ago. Yeah, like ten, yeah I remember that. Now, yeah. it would be nice if they did this, that, at this thing. Earlier in the evening, these awards were given away, and then just show the, a quick moment of the acceptance speech and you know the announcing of the winner. Um, uh, but they're not doing that. And, uh, uh hmm? I was just looking. Saddam Hussein's party is the Bathist party. The, ba the bath party. The B A. Well, they were, they were the Bathist. I S T. That was their name as individuals. They were Bathist, but the party was the bath party. Uh, yeah. Because they like to be together. Not telling me anything I didn't know, That's Phil. <laughs> uh, hey did I tell you I'm taking Friday off it's going to be a, a, a benefit free Friday yeah wow. someone's cooking you dinner yeah somebody's cooking me dinner 
Meals on Wheels. No. What a show cooking with Bennett. Yeah. They're coming over. Oh, you're, my God. That would be They're going to cook dinner yeah. here. We don't have to do anything. We just have to just let put us a watch camera you in the corner. Dinner. Yeah, let put us a watch camera you in the corner. Dinner. Cooking with Bennett. Well, just I mean, the, by the time by the time uh, dinner is over with, the show will have not started yet. The only uh, reason I'm not doing a show is that I feel after a little I like to not have to feel the pressure, you know, of doing a show that night. That way you can just sit around and fart. <laughs> <laughs> Got a point. Got a point. Well, how would that be different than any other day? Well, it's creating global <laughs> warming. You know. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well, here's a little item for you. Les Moonves, remember him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. He is now running a new company called Moonrise Unlimited. And it reports the company is operating out of a 10th floor suite on Sunset Boulevard. Guess mm -hmm. who's paying for the office space? CBS? Yep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was in his contract that even if he was fired for reasons... That up to a year they would pay for rent on offices for him, so wow, they're they're now taking care of that. Nice. Uh, by the Do way, you have this good a contract at Gabnet. I have that kind of contract right. here, at Gabnet. Yeah, um, uh, and uh, Empire actor Jesse Smollett, who said he was a victim of racial and homophobic attack on January 29th in Chicago finally provided his phone records to the Chicago Police Department, Department Monday morning. Uh, the move came uh, after it was reported that some of Smollett's neighbors were expressing doubt about the accuracy of Smollett's account of the alleged attack. During the investigation, authorities have brought up Smollett's failure to turn over data from his cell phone that might verify he was on the phone with his music manager, Brandon Moore, at the time of the attack. So there are the, the police have some doubts about this whole thing. You know, uh, you had doubts about it originally. I remember. Well, it just sounded. It didn't. It, it, all the, all the things weren't in place. You know, I mean, no, no. He was in a place where no security cameras were, and then all of a sudden he comes out the other end of it with a noose around his neck. I mean, I just he leaves it on, till he gets home. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, and it was like a, you know somebody put a noose around my neck. I think that thing yeah, would be off as quick as possible. Yeah, you know? yeah take this, take a picture of the noose, then take the noose off. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea what the uh, what the what the story is with that. And I'd like to think. Well, I'd hate to think that he was accosted, but if he was, I'd hate to think that he's not telling the truth. Uh, and huh. and uh, uh, that you know he gets his just do out of all of this which is not particularly the case so you know maybe he's exaggerating this listen situation. you're writing ray on the uh on the uh comments here that we have we have we do have a uh a, a, what do we call it a chat room on the uh on the what did i write well it says here you wrote um i have to find an older version oh right, friggin right, right, skype right. is forcing me to update Oh yeah, I did that like an hour ago. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> well, nobody's written anything since. So. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I was just frustrated because I it was I couldn't get on without updating to the newer Skype, and I did, wasn't going to do that. So yeah. I was just sitting yeah. here trying to find one that worked. Yeah. Well, I'm, see, I'm, all I see is calls started and ended. I don't see any chat. Have to hit the arrow. Arrow on on the. Um... So YouTube page, chat. you can see the channel. Oh, oh, I was looking at yeah, on nice. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. There's the the the. the, uh, yeah. the and it, let's see here. Here, here's Live the new Tawana Brawley or Morton Downey. Are you, are you saying that Forbin Colossus? Yeah, I guess. You know, I don't, I don't know. I can't uh, tell where these things start and begin. Anyway, that's enough of that. So. Um, Otherwise, you know, I mean, it's uh, it, it was just an, another day in Washington D.C. Anything, Josh, that's been hitting you about what's been going on with the news at all, or? Yeah, I, I can't think of anything in particular. I was uh, up last night when uh, Trump was talking in uh, El Paso too, and uh, I just quickly changed the channel. I I really can't listen to him usually. I mean, it, I find it difficult. Mm-hmm. 
uh, what do you find particularly difficult? Just just his lying, or um... I mean, obviously that, but I mean, Trump's just a. I mean, he's just not. I hate to say it because he's just not presidential. You know, I mean, he's just he's not a professional. I mean, he's just he's just got this amateurish rambling style, and it's just like uh, I don't know if you went into. Uh, like get a job or something like that and you just rambled on the way he does and just jab jab you know i mean you would get the job you know <laughs> he did get the job he got the job yeah you're right about that phil with three million fewer votes than the opponent that doesn't matter well actually it does to who it, uh, to him to, it a lot of to him it matters to him it still sticks in his craw mm-hmm. you know he'd it like works. to think that those are three million illegal immigrants who voted for hillary yeah, yeah, all in California says. and New York. No. no. That means that the whole country gets a, a president based on two states, maybe three, with Florida. I think Texas. they should get a president based no. on who gets the most votes. You think they should get a president on who's got the best hair and who comes across the best on a, on a teleprompter? Well, that you know? happens, too. And he certainly doesn't have the best hair, does he? He's no. yeah. But it's getting shorter every day. You notice that? Yeah. Remember when Letterman used to do Trump or Monkey? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. Well, you remember remember when, uh, what's his name, got sued by Trump. Bill Maher. Bill Maher for saying he was an orangutan. So Bill Maher, rather than fight the thing, right, decided that he would write a, oh, wow, I got tape on my, down on my sock. Um. He, uh, That's the uh, price tag. No, uh, uh, I've been getting, I've been unraveling gaffer's tape oh. all day from things. Anyway, um, no, he he basically what he did is rather than let Trump sue him, decided to apologize because he figured the apology was funnier than anything, and the apology basically amounted to him just saying, "No, Trump isn't an orangutan," <laughs> you know. So I mean, he felt it was it was better to apologize than uh, because it would get him more laughs and make him look more foolish. Well, so. he, you know, in today's world, people apologize and they jump on him even more. Uh, and you know, I couldn't, you know, if he called Trump an orangutan or anything like that, Trump's the president of the United States. Isn't that a fair game? Uh, I think it's fair. Well, game. Not, not to him. I mean, well, not to him. But he, I don't think the president. I mean, can well, he sue. called him. No, wait a minute. He called decent, this. This was well, yes, Josh. Well, I was just going to say the only decent positive that maybe came out of Trump's presidency, in my opinion, is that for years and years, for decades in this country, people have wanted to know who Carly Simon's song "You're So Vain" is about, and voila, we have the fucking answer. Was it about Trump? Well, don't you think it's got to be? I mean, does anyone fit that description to a T better than that man right there? I mean, that's the most petty, childish person that I've ever, I mean, as as a grown adult that I think I've ever seen in my life. It's like, that's the only person I can think of that would fit the description of that to a T. Well, uh, a lot of people for years thought it was Mick Jagger Mm -hmm. because he sang on it. Yes, Vernon. Oh, really? Yes, Vernon. What about the Beatles song, Fool on a Hill? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that was written for somebody else, but let's, let's, let's attribute it all to uh, th- this moron who's in the White House. Boy, it's just, just amazing. It's just it's so disheartening, you know. And uh, uh, he's pretty well ruined this country for the next 20 years or so. You know. For you, huh? And, and for you and your other socialist buddies, oh, you know. God. See, that's the thing. It's the divisiveness that, yeah, like, yeah. like, you know, is exemplified. Well, by what I, you, you know, one night we're going to have to have, have a nice discussion on what's so bad about socialism, okay? Because <laughs> now, now they're starting ever. to use socialism like it's a dirty word. It is, and, you know, and, and uh, it's when the government owns all your shit. 
And, no, uh, no, and, no, and, that's and not socialism. That's not that's socialism. Not communism. It's communism. It's communism. The same thing. You guys. You no, know, it's not the it's, same it's thing. It's just a code not word. The same thing. Communism. Not, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Oh, As Trump yeah, says, you should go back to school. Brainwash. You should go back to school. Yeah, boy. Well, I think it's time to play the theme song. Yeah, I think it's time to play music and get the hell out of here. Uh, listen, guys, this has been good. First of all, thanks to Albert for calling tonight. Albert Reynoso, uh, we loved having him call. Uh, Phil Meyer, thank you so much for calling tonight, as well as Vernon Nunn and uh, uh, Tony Magno. Sorry to hear about your father, but glad you're here for the therapy. I don't know if it was therapy. Ray Renati, thank you. Charles Wallace, always a pleasure. Josh, every time you say something, it's, it's intelligent or as I like to say, intelligent. Uh, and, uh, and of course, Kevin, always a pleasure to have you here. I think all of you should give a big uh, goodbye to everybody. Just wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye too, okay? There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, uh, all of them just uh, going away. Uh, the next show up is The Intersection with uh, Jack Bishop. And I'm making the Skype lines available for him now and for you, so you will call him, okay? I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. I'd say after Damien, but he's not going to be on for the rest of the week. So I'll be on at 10 o'clock Eastern Time uh, right here on GabNet. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.